Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to render passes in Modo. Render passes offer you a way to control channel values in a scene and store them in separate containers. Working with render passes allows you to easily create rendered variations from a single scene. To create render passes, start by creating a pass group. A pass group stores a collection of passes and is needed to create render passes. Create a new render pass in the newly created pass group. Before making any changes, activate the Auto Add option. This will add any changes you make to the scene without having to manually apply them. Make any changes you'd like this render pass to have and you're all set. Create a new pass and make any changes you'd like this pass to store. I often use passes for my wireframe renders, so I'll apply the wireframe shader to my character in this pass. I'll also change the camera and the lighting. You can quickly toggle between render passes by choosing a pass in the Passes menu. Select None to return to the default scene state. You can use the Render Passes command to render each pass in a selected group, or simply use render passes to manage multiple states of a scene when doing F9 renders. Oh, look at the time.